Hello and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, welcome and if you've been here before, I'm glad you're back. In today's video, I've done something very summery because summer um, and I've done, I had a few ideas and I kind of mashed them up together and I absolutely love the what, what came out. So this is what came out. You probably know by now because you've seen photos, but I need to explain this because it's just so crazy, but at the same time, I absolutely love it. So what I thought was, you know, going down to the beach and stuff like that. So what if it would be a sign, a wooden sign that points you to the beach and it's just something very simple. And I've done some waves and then I've done a boat on top of that and then birds. So, I mean, you can't, you can't tell me that's not beach area. You know what I mean? Then I did this guy here just because, I mean, he's cool. And this could be another sign that points you to the beach. And I would go to that beach if they would have a sign like this. I really, really love him. So, yeah, there's that. That's basically another part of the sign. I just had this thing where I wanted the pinky to kind of resemble the thumb. And then we have... Uh, maybe like a platform, like a wooden platform I had in mind with someone collecting seashells. So that's exactly what I did on the pointer finger. I know the colors just don't go with anything else, but I don't care. I absolutely love it. And these designs, they, they couldn't really make up a full set on their own. So I thought I'm just going to mash them together. And honestly, I love the result. And then I had this idea of doing an underwater scene and we have a scuba diver and the jellyfish and then we have all kinds of fishes and herbs and stuff. And it's really herbs. Did I just call them herbs? You know, you know what I mean? Um, but I just wanted um, it to look really, really busy because that's how it is underwater as far as I've seen in videos and movies and stuff because I don't like to go there because it's busy. And I think that, you know, they they have the right to their own home. <laughs> no, honestly, I'm really scared of deep water. So just that's that's my reasoning. But anyway, um, I just wanted to make something that's going to be really busy. So you have to actually spend a bit of time to understand what's going on. And I think I did succeed. I'm really happy with it. Um, but I didn't want to do any of this. You, you could do, uh, do this for a full set. I just didn't want to because... I feel like it would be too much so then I broke it up with the brown and I really love how it takes away from that blue and just kind of keeps it you know more mild and yeah I, honestly I really love how the set came out and I hope you do too and yeah with all of that said let's do some nails I'm starting off with Haley from the Kirsty Meek Angel Polish collection and I will apply this on the thumb the pointer and the pinky finger and to be honest, this is just kind of like a base color. You're not going to be able to see much of this at all. Uh, so, you know, don't... You, you can kind of use whatever you want here. I just wanted something so you can see the... Like, clear. You can see uh, through the layers later. So, yeah. I'm applying two layers of this. And I'm going to cure each for 30 seconds in an LED lamp. And then I'm going to go in with the Nail Chemi Artisan paints in brown. In red and in white um, I'm also using the stamping gel in white because I ran out of the other one so you know doesn't necessarily need to be that one and then I'm using this 3D2 brush from Ink London and then I'm using Glitter Bell's uh, middle liner and I'll use a dotting tool as well this is you can apply this with anything it doesn't need to be a dotting tool but I'm taking bits of that gel paint and I am putting them randomly onto the nail and I didn't remove the sticky layer because I want this to melt a little bit but I don't want it to melt too much so that's why I'm using the gel paint and not the gel polish because the gel paint is a lot thicker you can see it's keeping its shape a gel polish would have just spread by now um, I didn't cure anything by the way until now so I'm not curing anything until I'm telling you I'm gonna cure it so you, you'll see in a minute but yeah I'm just applying uh, random dots obviously I want the brown to be the most thing that you can the like you know to, to be more than anything else so the other two colors I'm just applying very very scarce and then I'm taking my brush and it just had a little bit of clear gel in it, it 
you don't need to have that necessarily it can be a dry brush but obviously because I keep on using the, these brushes I keep a bit of clear gel to just kind of protect the brush whilst it's storing and you know it's keeping its shape and everything so yeah anyway I just used my brush so it was just clean brush and I'm just dragging that on the nail and as you can see here uh, creating these lines that are basically the best texture for wood it's just absolutely amazing how easy it is to create a wood texture with this kind of uh, technique so just drag everything uh, you can see that uh, that color underneath it is peeking through just the tiniest bit so that's why you use such a light color but you can't see the actual color much so you know and then when I wanted a bit of highlight because I thought you know it needed a bit more I'm just adding a bit of white onto my brush and just straight on the nail and also the red you can't really see it on camera you can see it in real life it has like spots of reddish brown uh, you don't actually want red the the wood to be red it's just spots of red here and there to just create a bit more depth and a different like texture and it it just makes the whole design look even better in my opinion and then without curing still, I'm adding a bit of brown into do those two spots. I just chose them randomly, however you want. If you want to make uh, like the, the strokes with the brush a bit more wiggly, you can add more of these. And now I cured everything. And the reason why I uh, did that whilst it was still uh, not cured is because then those uh, brown spots blend in very very nicely with the rest of the nail so you know um, and here after I cured I'm just going in with my liner brush and some of that brown and I'm just kind of creating these darker lines to add even more like texture to the wood but I'm not adding too many because I don't want to lose any of the rest of the texture that I created already so I'm just kind of going around those darker brown spots that I created earlier and yeah that's that's it it's such an easy wood design and it's absolutely perfect for anything you know it's quick as well so I just thought I would show you something a bit different than what I showed you until now um, and you can go and add these like brown lines everywhere but I just I left it like this because I really loved the texture that the brush left so yeah I'm just emphasizing those darker uh, areas but basically that's it then I'm gonna go in with velvet matte from ink London and I'm gonna apply a layer of this because then I'm gonna create the perfect uh, like area for stamping and also I'm protecting that gel paint as well so I cured that then I'm gonna take my stamping mat and um, I recommend that because it's very very good uh, and you're gonna protect your surface and I'm gonna take this stamping polish from born pretty and I'm gonna use this stamping plate I'm gonna show you later what it is I completely forgot to show show it now uh, but as I said, I wanted something to look like a wooden sign, so I thought I'm going to start with some waves. And these are absolutely lovely. I, I really, really loved the waves um, on this plate, so I'm just going to put them kind of in the middle. You're going to see I'm going to fill up later uh, the rest of the area, but I wanted to see my starter point. And then I'm going to take this part of the boat. This uh design actually is in two parts you can see next to it you have the rest of the boat but i liked how it looked with just that little tiny thing there that would be like a different color and the really huge uh, veils i think they're called or how are they called anyway i really really liked how um how it looked because then it looks like it's a really really kind of big boat with big veils and stuff like that i don't know i i really liked it so i just didn't bother with the other bit and then i found this bird random on this plate as well and i'm just applying it here <laughs> it's you know it doesn't really have to have a rhyme or reason it's a design 
about the beach so you know birds are usually in any kind of design with like any kind of beach scene so then I took these tiny birds as well and I'm gonna apply them I'm gonna first clean up always clean up with my lint roller um, and then I'm gonna apply them randomly here and there come on you can do it there you go you can't really see I'm not that good at filming through the stamper and I am sorry about that and also I'm kind of trying to see where I place them so yeah you can't really I, I can't be one of those people that film through their stamper I think they are absolutely incredible I don't know how their precision works but my precision doesn't <laughs> anyway then as I said I'm gonna fill up the bottom half with some more waves as well just because it looked a bit empty and I just felt like, oh, you know what, water should be everywhere on that bottom half. So yeah, I added more waves there and anytime now, there you go. So now you can see that boat just, I don't know, I absolutely love how that boat looks just like that. So uh, yeah, anyway, I love how this came out. Um, and then I took another one of those waves, I think it was maybe the smallest one or the one next to it, and I, I'm i just filling up the, the last little corner there, so, you know, there you go. <laughs> and yeah, this is how the first nail looks like, I absolutely love it. Then I give it like 30 seconds and I went in with the ultimate no wipe top coat and I can't emphasize this enough, it needs to be an extremely thin layer, like really thin. And then I'm going in with the matte top coat. And the reason why it needs to be really thin is because when you put a matte top coat on, if your design is really pushed back by, you know, a thick layer of uh, top coat is going to look really kind of foggy and you don't want that. You want everything to be nice and in focus. So, yeah. Anyway, then uh, this is for the pinky nail and I didn't know exactly what to choose. And then I chose that like uh, bird with the sunglasses. And I took this this thing, I, I don't know what was it was supposed to be, it was supposed to be maybe like a towel, but I took it and I made a stand for the bird to stand on, so he's not just like floating in the air without his uh, wings open. <laughs> so yeah, you can use different things from the plate however you want them, to be honest, uh, to like go in with your design but look how cool this bird is like he's absolutely incredible i think he's a seagull I'm, I'm pretty sure he is a seagull but he's just so cool i mean come on i would love to see signs like this on a beach anyway now i'm showing you the other plate apparently so this is cgs lc 48 and i am going to use number 54 39 one and i think i'm using the black again as well uh number three from born pretty these are their stamping polishes and to be honest i absolutely love them they're you have to work around them a little bit but they're they're good they're you you can see here actually <laughs> you can see me working i'm not saying that uh, you shouldn't invest in good stamping polishes at all but I've made this investment a few year, years ago and I'm not gonna just not use them, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's ignore that and let's move on to what I'm doing on the pointer, pointer finger here and it's seashells. Um, I'm just applying them there at the bottom and as I said, I wanted to look like, I wanted it to look like someone just kind of collected them and left them on the pier somewhere so basically i'm just putting them uh, on the tip of that finger and yeah that's that's it i know that the colors don't go with anything else like the pink and the gold later and i don't want to explain myself <laughs> i i wanted different colored seashells i didn't want them to look boring 
I didn't want them to look exactly the same so I went in with different colors and I am happy that it has a pop of color and I do know that you know looking at the whole design together it doesn't make sense but I don't care I really love it so yeah basically I'm just taking a color and then I'm doing the outline in black because I just thought that it's gonna be the best kind of uh, because these are like really busy designs doing the outline in black over a light color is gonna make uh, sense it's just gonna show up very very nicely if you would do because trust me i've done like a couple of um, trials and if you would do something uh, light with something a bit darker it doesn't really show up so it kind of gets all muddled together you need to be close up to actually see what's going on but again because these are really really busy designs so i kept the outline black and i'm happy i did because it just that black kind of ties in with the rest of the design so i i don't care that the two colors don't match up with anything i know i'm gonna be judged for that but i don't care <laughs> it's just it's my nails i like it so yeah i should move on because no one complained yet anyway this is the last one that i'm applying and i absolutely love this like snail shell i think it's called um, and then I applied again a layer of shiny top coat and a layer of matte. And the reason for that, oh yeah, I'm moving to the next nail. I'm applying DECA, I'm uh, applying two layers of this and curing each for 30 seconds. The reason why you apply a shiny top coat before you apply a matte top coat is because if you apply the matte top coat over stamping, it's going to drag your stamping. So it's going to melt all that stamping polish and it's going to, you know, drag it down also the other plate was cgs 159 i just showed you now i can't believe i forgot to show you in the beginning but yeah i'm sorry i didn't mean to um but i'm using this like kind of water uh highlights pattern i think that's how it's called you know when the waves uh are over the water and then if you look down, you see the highlights and the shadows on the bottom. That's kind of what I'm using. And also I'm using those two polishes that I have no idea what number they were. You need to look back because I can't because I'm doing this voiceover. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I am taking this like uh, scuba diver and I am putting him right in the middle. He's going down in the water. And my idea behind those like uh, patterns i know they're supposed to be like on the bottom but if you look from underneath the water up you can still see them a little bit so i was thinking that you're not going to be able to see much of the bottom part anyway so it's going to look kind of like that's up i don't know it's it's like perspective does that make sense i'm sorry if it doesn't make sense but i i am happy with how it came out i really am so Hopefully it makes sense. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. Skip that part if you want to redo this design. And then I went in at the bottom there with some like um, coral and uh, some weeds. I, I, I know they're not called weeds, but you know, algae. Algae? Yeah. Anyway. I went there at the bottom with some plants as well and I did them in like different colors just to create a bit more depth, you know, some of them are hit by the sun a bit better if by the light and some of them are not. Um, and yeah, that's my ring finger and I love him, I really do, I love that scuba diver, he's going in there, he's very brave, I could never be that brave, so uh, yeah. Anyway, next I'm going in with that like plant and I, because I wanted a bit more of the plants in this nail, so the, the, the middle nail, I'm doing half of it basically, well, it's going to be a plant, it's going to be on the side there. Again, I'm sorry I can't film through the stamping, um, to the, through the stamper, I really wish I could, it's, my, my brain just doesn't know how to do it, uh, to actually see what's going on as well, it's 
uh, whole thing. Um, also, I didn't mention, but if you want to learn how to stamp, I do have a workshop that's going to take you from not knowing how to stamp at all to like the really, really um, complicated designs and how to achieve uh, layered stamping and stuff like that. So I'm going to leave the uh, details in the description box. So make sure to check that out. Um, it's uh, lifetime access and you know it's probably the best investment you'll ever make because stamping is absolutely awesome uh especially for a busy busy like salon life kind of thing anyway going back here i went in with a jellyfish and i put her right in the middle there and then i added some uh big fishes there in the front and then i added some more like weeds and stuff and then i went in with the lighter blue and i'm adding some smaller fishes as well and yeah i'm just filling up this and i really love how it looks um really busy because that's how it is and yeah i hope you guys do too um i will also apply a layer of shiny top coat the two nails with water on them i left them shiny because I thought water is shiny and well, you know, it, it would be like, it wouldn't be matte anyway. So I left them shiny and I really love the contrast between the matte and the shiny nails. So yeah. Um, so I'm applying again more plants here and there uh, to create that depth. And then I think that's going to be enough. That's enough. That's a stop. Okay. Okay. We stop now. Um, yeah, I hope you like this. But now, and obviously I'm in love with them, as I said before. Um, I hope you like them too, at least. Not love, like, at least. <laughs> um, if you did enjoy today's video, please comment down below. Let me know how what you thought. Uh, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends. Do whatever you want. And also, um, you could also leave me some ideas for a new video, you know, I mean, it's just summer is such a hard thing for me to do. I don't know why the designs for summer just kind of avoid me, the ideas for the designs for the summer. So, yeah, just, you know, let me know what else you'd like to see and I'll do my best to try to do it. Um, but other than that... I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye!